Hi, my name is Nilesh Lotu and I'm an ERC grantee, head of a project titled Homo Mimeticus. Yes, the idea that humans are imitative creatures is not a new or original idea. It goes back to the origins of philosophy with Plato and Aristotle, who argued that humans are indeed mimetic animals, for good and bad. So why it's important to study or go back to this ancient realization? Well, if it's true that we are mimetic animals and that we are shaped by the models that surround us, then it's very important that each generation of scholars or thinkers or educators, parents, think about the contemporary implications of imitation. Since the models keep changing, the technologies change, the media change, and set up models that shape not only what we think, but also behavior, actions, ideas. So the Homo Mimeticus project looks at the question of imitation from a contemporary perspective and pays attention, for instance, at the ways in which representations of violence in movies and computer games shape subjectivity. Or we might go back to classics of literature like Oscar Wilde, who argued that it is not art that imitates life, but life itself that imitates art in the sense that human life is shaped by artistic models. Think of cinematic stars. So the Homo Mimeticus is a, an interdisciplinary project. It's based at the Institute of Philosophy at KU Leuven and works in close collaboration with the Faculty of Arts. Um, I'm lucky to have a team who brings to the project different perspectives and we are accounting for my Mises from as many angles as possible. So I'm happy to introduce you to my year city. So uh, in my project, I put Kierkegaard in conversation with s several modern and contemporary thinkers to elaborate on how imitation, imagination and uh, exemplarity inform our understanding of human action and human existence in the modern world. Uh, as a member of the Homo Mimeticus project, I am working on a manuscript that examines the history of musical aesthetics between 1600 and 1850, uh, paying attention to the role of mimesis as performance and enactment in this history. So my research is about the role of theatrical mimesis in French continental thought. And more specifically, I will be looking at the figure of the mime in uh, Philippe Lacoulabart, Judith Butler, and uh, Gilles Deleuze. Yeah, I opened it up a little bit. And so you guys are in between here mm -hmm. somewhere. If you want to know more about the Homo Mimeticus project, please visit our website at homomimeticus.eu. Also, we started a series of video interviews at Home Videos, so please check out our YouTube channel. And lastly, thank you, ERC.